Hi there, my name is Elias Brown with Wisent Tutors. I'm going to quickly solve this calculus problem concerning position, velocity, and acceleration. I must point out really quickly that I do believe there's a typo here. One of these two values must be used for our velocity function, and I'm going to assume for all intents and purposes that it's this one, which will become apparent momentarily. However, Note that if we have a position function, actually we'll call it s in this moment, s of t, then ds dt equals our velocity function. Consequently, dv dt equals our acceleration function, whoops, 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 equals our acceleration function a of t. So let's get velocity first. Let's integrate our acceleration function a of t equals 11 times the integral of sine of t dt plus 5 times the integral of cosine t dt. So this turns into negative uh, 11 cosine of t, and this is going to be plus 5 sine of t plus some arbitrary constant. Now here's where I can't help but assume that this must be used for our v of t function. So let s prime of 0 equal 0. That is to say, v of 0 equals 0. So this is my velocity function, v of t. So if v of 0 equals 0, then I know that 11, negative 11 cosine of 0 plus 5 sine of 0 plus c must be my function for t equals 0. Sine of 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So negative 11 plus c equals 0. So in this case, c must be equal to 11. I'll call this c1 because we're going to have another constant momentarily. So c1 equals 11. So now I have a velocity function v of t equals negative 11 cosine of t plus 5 sine of t, sine of t, come on, uh, plus 11. Now integrating again to get my position function will give us our position function, x of t equals the antiderivative of negative cosine is going to be negative sine. So this is going to be negative 11 sine of t. plus the integral of sine is negative cosine minus 5 cosine of t. The integral of 11 with respect to t is 11t. Now we'll have another constant of integration c2. Here I'm going to use, and sorry, I meant to make this s. I'm used to using x, s. So now using that last data point, s of 2 pi equals 18 equals negative 11 sine of 2 pi minus 5 cosine of 2 pi plus 11 times 2 pi plus c2. All right, let's substitute in 2 pi while well, we've done that. Let's evaluate it. So 18 equals sine of 2 pi is 0, cosine of 2 pi is 1, so this first term completely goes away. Negative 5 cosine of 2 pi. 2 pi is 1, so negative 5 plus 11 times 2 pi plus 2c, or plus c2, my bad. Adding 5, I'm going to get 23 on my left-hand side equals 11 times 2 pi. plus C2, um, dividing by 22 pi, I get C2 equals 23 over 22 pi. So my final position function is going to be as follows. S of T equals negative 11 sine of T minus 5 cosine of t 
plus 11 of t plus 23 over 22 pi. And this right here will give me my final position function for any time t. I hope this was helpful. Take care. Thank you.